Hey guys, a wag bus the video, Dad. It's a bit of an early one today. It's Southampton away. It's a massive, massive game. May I just say, what are you thinking? I'm thinking oh, we're struggling to get Rebecca out of a pit. <laughs> oh, how are we going to get on for Sunderland? But anyway, yeah. oh, when the stripes, oh, when the stripes, go marching in, go marching in. Hey, listen, listen. It's, it's two degrees on, on the um, on the old thermometer, but I'll tell you summer. This is going to be literally showtime today know, because yeah. two informed sides, right? Two really good managers, yeah. right? Now, bear in mind, Southampton are on a rich vein of four. Dare I say Albion are? I hate to tell you, I hate to tell you. You're going to tell us anyone? I think it's going to be 2 1 to the Saints. I don't want it to be, but we've got to be realistic. But I'll tell you, Summer, if we come away with even a point, that I'll, I'll have a great international break. And by the way, I hate international breaks. But all I, I want to say is God save the King, Remembrance Sunday tomorrow, and Albion win today would suit me fine at St Mary's. So hang on. on. So what are you going for, big guy? I have to say, well, I'm going to go for, let me see, confident. I think it's going to be a close game because I know they love to score a goal in the last minute, George Boy. I know you're a big Southampton fan. We'll hopefully see him today. George, George, George Boy. Now, listen, I've got a quick I'm going to go 2 1 win, though. 2 1 win, Gosling. And I'm going for Chili Gray special again. But can I just say, coming out soon, guys, we've got to do a podcast on the own situation. Yeah, well, it's it's it's, it's tight, isn't it? Yeah. Here's a quick one for you. Who'd you play today? Carl Bartley or Sammy? Because Carl is in, 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 injury free from the team last week. It's a hard one. It depends if, if Bartley's fit or not. Semi did look good when he came on, but it's up there, up there for debate. What time is it? It's showtime! Well then, guys, it's ready for the favourite American restaurant, Dad. Well, we're delighted to have the showstopper, who is called Rebecca. How are you doing? I'm good, thank you. What's your prediction for today? Um, I'm going to go 2-1, but I think Don't it's going to be a pen. Um, it's going to be a pen? Yeah. That's not a bad shout, that's not, you know. Good morning, everybody. We're here with our big baggies family. Jace, what are you thinking for today, then, mate? Uh, I think it's going to need uh, Coventry esque performance. Um, I mean, you would expect Southampton would have the vast majority of the ball. Uh, we're going to have to defend well. Um, but if we can do that, the one thing with Southampton, they do give you a chance. Teams have got in beyond, beyond this season. So if, if, if we can do all those things, then we'll give ourselves the best possible chance of getting the result. Wouldn't that be brilliant? And that's well said, though. What are you thinking, Big Guy? Well, adding on to what my dad said, I think the main thing is today is we can take our chances when we do get them. Sometimes with us, we don't tend to be ruthless. We'll have a lot of chances and we don't take them. Today is where we need to, but what I will say is, we don't necessarily need to pick up a lot of points today due to the bonus points over the last few games, yeah. beating Hull, beating Coventry. What are you going for today? What's your prediction for today? Score prediction. Please. 2-1 Albion, but I'll Ooh. take a point. Oh, beauty, beauty lass. 2-1 <laughs> Albion. Oh, I like that. Give us a, give us a show time, ready? It's show time! <laughs>
I know that your captain's not, not playing today, but what do you think in prediction wise? Two ones for the Saints. We can never go through a game without letting a goal in. Ooh. And our possession will somehow lead us to get a goal through our flying wingers. Ooh. So from baggy stands, who do we who do we look out for from, from a Saints point of view? It's hard to say, we don't have a star Ooh. anymore. So you get goals from anywhere then? Yeah, full backs. I'd like to come from a forward. Oh, that's, that's a bit long. It's going to be, it's going to be for an interesting yeah. game, you know. Yeah. Two d decent managers as well. Yeah. I've got to ask you, how long you sports Saints for? Uh, since 1966. Who's been your favourite manager since that? Uh, yeah, that's a brilliant yeah. manager. Well, it's, it's a cross between Ted Bates, who brought us from nowhere, yeah, yeah, yeah. to uh, Laurie McEnany, who brought us uh, glamour to the club. How about Pochettino? Stand the test of time. No, I've got thought it was a standout player. Then. Ty always associated Southampton with Big Dave Watson at the back. Right. Okay, Ron Davis for me. Ron Davis, yeah. 37 yeah. goals uh, in one season, league goals. Wow, what an yeah. achievement. Uh, and uh, Terry Payne was a long term player. Terry Payne, uh, uh, Mike Channon, of course, yeah, he scored Mickey a couple Shannon. of nice goals oh, against right. West Brom at a 4 0 uh, FA Cup replay. Right. Yeah. You know, so whenever you say Mick Shannon, I always think he used to, he used to do that when he used to score yeah. one. And he used to call Gary Lineker, Gary Lineker. Uh, right. Yeah, yeah. So, last one then, and just one last question. If you if you sat down with the owners of Southampton, what would be the, the, the question you'd ask them? If you could have one question only, what would it be? Long-term strategy. Where are we going to be in five years? We're not, I'm not worried about us not going up. I think we're just too, too young a side, and I'd like to see us establish uh, a good first 15 um, and uh, see where we go from there. It's minutes before kickoff. We're here at the home of football, St Mary's. My name's Paul. Your name, sir? Mike. Mike, and your name, sir? Connor. Connor. So listen, quick prediction for today, Connor. 2-1 Saints. Goal scorer? Ross Stewart. I love that. Mike, I say, what's the reason? I say 1-1. One, one. I love that, you know. I'll tell you what, yes or no, you're going to make the playoffs? Yes. Yes or no, you're going to make the playoffs? No, we're going to go straight up. Oh, oh I, like, I like his style. I like his... We are literally minutes away from kickoff. My name's Paul, and your name? I'm George. George, you're George a George massive Saints fan. I am, absolutely. So, come on, give us your favourite player, dead or alive. Oh, my favourite all time player is probably Calvin Davis. Oh. Or Ricky Lambert. One Rick, of the two. Uh, Ricky Lambert. From the Golden Favourite manager? We haven't had many good ones. Probably, I want to say Nigel Atkins or Pochettino. Pochettino, I said that earlier. Things, but... All right, then, okay, we'll put on niceness aside. Prediction for today? 2 1 Saints, last minute winner for Adam Armstrong. Oh, okay, okay, well, now we've been. Saints, last minute winner for Adam Armstrong. It's so good there, right? And if you could sit down with the owner and ask him one question and one question only, yeah, what would it be? Why don't you sell the club? Oh, yeah. okay, with that in mind, then, this is the very last one. Drum roll. Will you get promoted this season? I think so. I think Ipswich are going to fall off. The only real competition is Leeds. Maybe you guys, to be fair. We'll see. I I, I don't want to do um, playoffs because I can't deal with that. No, I can't uh, have uh, that. Uh, same as mine. I'd, I'd probably fuck But an automatic would be nice. But we'll see. I think you guys are going to be... It would be nice in the, in the final. Can I you know you said you don't want to do it. One of us would be very upset. <laughs> oh, oh, <one> us, <laughs> hopefully you guys do. Yeah. Wait, Dad, Dad, what time is it? It's show time! Hey, here we go, baby. Lovely stuff. Ten minutes to kick off and the big dog has... Oh, looking. The big dog is almost getting in, but what a thing this is, I just say.
Brilliant last few weeks, doesn't cut it for today. Absolutely. We've got a form on a day. It's what it's all about today. I think we'll come out and we'll win the game. I really want. My, my only worry is they destroyed us potentially in the first half. They're, pretty, they're crucial on the ball. I thought, I thought the first 15 minutes, I don't know about you, the first 15 minutes all then, since then, we, we, we found them out. They're not a good side. They're Premier League qualifiers. They're not, they're not, they're not, they're not, you look at them. When you have players like Cedric Keeper, I know he's been one of our best defenders this season. Oh, yeah. He's not even League One quality defender. However, he's playing well above his depth. Adam Armstrong, top quality championship side, they're not good enough for the Prem. He's finally managed. I think he'll give him a massive rocket up the arse. Come out, we'll work 3-1. Alright, I'll have that goal scorer. I think a Santa Claus goal. I think Dean Garner second. And I think Lee Lasky to the game. Sarmiento. You'll come on off the bench and uh, against completely against one of the players, we all went with the strike players. Oh, George, I know you wanted to say loads and loads, but we've had to stop you. So come on, uh, what's the final score going to be? The final score is 2 2. Uh, all that's left for us to say is it's showtime! Well, then, guys, come in to explain. What's the, you the ticket then? It's 5 4. It's 5 4. What I'm going to say is, we're going to be able on the other side, and you're real on the other side. It's made my error on my part, my ticket was knackered. I went to the ticket office, like you do. Yeah, I'm late on you. I think you realises you're a troublemaker. I've been. Can I just say my opinion about the game so far? I feel like Southampton, my opinion, and must be a team. I feel like they dominated the game completely. I thought I'm going we can't get that because we haven't tried it. I'll tell you what, Dan, they look absolutely brilliant on the break. I don't know who it is, he's got the legs in the Southampton side. They're, they're, they're killing us at the moment. I'm still going for a wild draw. The back country team! Oh, Southampton! 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 Oh, Go on, young Hattie boy. Go on.
What gives you the impression there's going to be trouble? All oh, the police are here. And I think it's you, the big man. No, no, don't be that. <laughs> no, I'm not into that. But listen, when you need the stewards help, or the police, they ain't there. Yo! Stephen, there's no cross. Over there, Dan. Really weird, I don't know where about. Is it the police officer? Yeah, just over there. There he is. Darren Blake. I never knew he was a police officer. Yeah, he's, he's <laughs> he moonlights. <laughs> Well, 
full time at here at St Mary's. What are you thinking, my mate? Um, we've played over. We could have done a bit better. Like, we could have passed the ball a bit more, like, sharper and like, ran at him. But other than that, we have like, played the best. No, I think, to be honest with you, the better team won at the end. I'm, I'm not too, too well. But I'll be honest and say that. But you know what? We put up a good show, didn't we? We, yeah. we had the chances there, really, didn't we? Have mate. you got a quick shout out? Who's it for? Yeah. Kai Griffiths. Kai Griffiths. Kai Griffiths, good on you. Well then guys, full time it is Southampton 2, Albion 1. Dad, I can't lie to you, took the fans away from me, I can't lie to you. They fully deserved it, Southampton did. And because they took their chances, and what the crowd was getting behind them, and they were under the cost of the point when they scored their second goal. You've got to give them full credit, haven't you? We were beaten by the better side, yeah, far the better side, Dan, to be honest with you. Our defending was sloppy, the goals that we gave away were sloppy. They look, they look premiership quality. Oh, definitely. Also, premiership players, isn't it? And I'll be honest with you, I was a big fan of their fans. I thought they were ace there. Of course, some of the scenes of the end was Oh, don't worry about it. I thought it was all part of football, innit? We couldn't it didn't bother me about all that nonsense. I'm not into that on all the nothing and wise ones. But when they started disrespecting my daughter, that I'm not happy with oh, that. Oh, no. That's, that's yeah, football. You pay the price, don't you? But listen, good side. I think they'll go on and do really yeah, well. Yeah, Russell Martin as well. Quality manager. And that's the thing, though, these players can change the games. Will be brought on for Che Adams? Do you think it's blaming out? There we go. Good, to be honest with you, he I know, right, I know they it? had difficult start, Southampton, but they look the real yeah, deal. Do that, I, I think that's the best side I've seen home. All yeah, away. I'll probably agree with that, actually. Yeah. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching this video, guys. Make sure you like, subscribe, and please don't anything to say. It's showtime.